In this video, we're going to talk about the slope of a line. The slope of a line, so lines are unique in that they always increase or decrease by the same amount, and that same amount is called the slope. So the slope of a line is the steepness of that line. Is the steepness of that line. Uh, we can also think about it as the ratio of the change in y to the change in x. Ratio is a, just a fancy word that indicates fraction. So it's just comparing how much do we, if we move from here to here, how much do we move up to get there, and how much do we move over to get there. Um, so sometimes we think about it as the change in y over the change in x, the over the change in x. And so we have a formula that we use to calculate this slope if we're given two points of a line. We're also, we have a formula that we can use if we're given the graph of a line if we're able to identify two points. Um, in either case, we use m to represent the uh, variable for slope. So we say that the slope, if we're given two points, then we use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And this is just saying that we have two ordered pairs. One ordered pair is x1, y1, and the second ordered pair is x2, y2. So again, what we're looking for is we're looking for the change in y over the change in x. If we're given the graph, what we could do instead is we just talk about the vertical rise over the horizontal run. The rise is a little bit uh, inaccurate um, because if you go up, that's considered a moving in the positive direction. But you can also fall, so it's a little bit ambiguous because it's not just rise, you could also go down, um, in which case you would be moving in the negative direction. For the run, if you move to the right, you're moving in the positive direction. If you're moving to the left, you're moving in the negative direction. Okay, so let's look at some examples. We want to find the slope of the line passing through the given points. So here we're given the points 6, negative 5, and 4, 1. If it's helpful, label your points. Also, if you don't have the slope formula memorized, write it down every time. So if you don't know it, write down m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I promise if you don't know that on the day of a test or a quiz and you try to get your professor to tell it to you, they're just going to say, nope, you should definitely know the slope formula. Know the slope formula. Okay, so let's find the slope. y2 is 1. 1 minus negative 5. Be careful with those negatives there. That minus is in the formula. That negative is part of that particular coordinate. So there, is, there, are, there are two negatives in the numerator. In the denominator, we have 4 minus 6. 1 minus negative 5. We can rewrite that as 1 plus 5, which is 6. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. We want to simplify as much as we can. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. So this particular line would have a slope of negative 3. What that tells me about the line is that going from left to right, it is going down. So it might look like this, like this, this. Well, it's negative 3, so it's actually pretty steep. Okay, letter B. Here's my x1, y1. Here's my x2, y2. Again, if you don't know the slope formula, write it down. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's write our slope. That would be 1 minus negative 3 over negative 6 minus negative 2. Again, we want to make sure that uh, we have not only the subtraction, but if the coordinate's negative, include that negative as well. In the numerator, 1 plus 3 is 4. In the denominator, negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Negative 4, 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. What this tells me about the graph is that it's going down from left to right. The slope is negative 1, so it's probably about like this angle. Looking at our next example, we have x1, y1, and x2, y2. If we go to plug in y2, whoops, fix that m, m equals negative 4 minus negative 4 over 7 minus 3. Negative 4 minus negative 4, well, any number subtracted by itself is 0. So 0 over, it doesn't even matter what this is, it's 4. Um, this is a slope of 0. So that's a special type of line. A slope of 0 just means as we're going from left to right, we're not changing the steepness. It's, it's just a constant going across. That is the slope 
of a horizontal line. So this indicates to me that we have a horizontal line here, and you can see that the y coordinates match, which does indicate that it's a horizontal line. So this is a special slope. When the slope is zero, it indicates we have a horizontal line. And lastly, letter D, x1 is negative 2, y1 is negative 5, x2 is negative 2, y2 is 1. When we plug this into the slope formula, we get 1 minus negative 5 over negative 2 minus negative 2. That would be 6 over, uh-oh, uh-oh, 6 over 0. There's no such thing as division by 0. It's, it's not good. Um, what this indicates is that the slope is undefined, and it's not zero. I want to make it very clear this is different than what we saw in C. Division uh, zero divided by anything is zero, right? If I have no money and I want to split my no money between four friends, each friend gets zero dollars. That works. Here, this doesn't work. There's no way I can split six dollars among zero people. That doesn't make any sense. It's undefined. This is another special type of line. You might notice that the x coordinates match here. That is a vertical line. So vertical lines, it's going straight up and down. Uh, that has an undefined slope.